Back, News 8's Kent Pierce live in Cozy Beach. 25 homes, is that right, Kent? Yeah, for a lot of those people in those 25 homes, there's nothing to go back to. Yeah, Kristen and Chris, good morning to you. 25 homes either destroyed or so badly damaged they're going to have to be torn down or what's left of them will have to be demolished uh, as soon as possible, basically. So for those 25 people, nothing to come back to. It's not. I was just talking to the East Haven Fire Chief. Not like there's some charred things to go sift through with this if you lost stuff it's you know it's on out in long island sound somewhere by now so very tough for a lot of people around here take a look at some video some of the damage we just shot a, a few minutes ago yeah you can see th these are houses that were just torn down obliterated by the waves of hurricane irene as it came through here this whole area was under an evacuation order so fortunately no loss of life because the people heeded that warning got out of here it was a mandatory evacuation they had to that order will be lifted later today about 10 o'clock this morning people are going to start being allowed to come back to their homes or where their homes were at least and it's going to be a rough morning everybody down here is prepared for it they got fire they got police the mayor has been down here everybody knows it is going to be basically a grieving process even though nobody died people are going to be grieving over the lost homes the lost memories that were inside those homes so they're going to have counselors available for those people as they come back in. The process of cleanup is obviously just beginning, hasn't even begun yet because all of those houses that you've seen obliterated on the sand there, they've got to be cleaned up. Also, houses that are still standing have to be inspected because there may be sort of hidden damage. They might have shifted off the foundations. There might be pilings they were built on that were damaged in the storm. They've got to be inspected to make sure they don't collapse. And because houses are so close together down here, one house falling down could have a domino effect on others. So they've got to be very careful as people come back in that the houses they're coming back to are safe even if they look okay from the outside. So a big day, a lot to do still here in East Haven. Uh, we're going to be down here covering it obviously all day long too. So stay tuned to News 8 and WTNH.com for that. Live in the Cozy Beach section of East Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.